Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and this is continuation of Power BI project. So today we are going to discuss one more real time project on the Power BI and this is again based on the healthcare domain. So here we are going to include the COVID cases and other cases as well. And here we are going to display their counts with the confirmed recovered and total death for overall cases. Let's assume we are having an organization and those are dealing in the healthcare. So we are having different different hospitals across the world. So we are capturing the data from all those hospitals in our data set. So we have three data set files. First file will have the confirmed cases. Second will have the recover cases. Third will have the total death. So we'll have three files and fourth file that will contain the country information across the globe so we'll have total four files so by using those files we will create this beautiful visualization like here you can see the total cases so here you can see this is the total cases count including the covid 19 and other cases these are the confirmed cases like how many persons have affected on the covid and how many persons are affected through the dengue or any another disease then how many has been recovered how many has expired so we can see here in the, the visualization in the bottom we can see the confirmed recovered and death cases so basically it is going to display the data for the recovered percentage death percentage and confirmed percentage so overall will be 100 percent and 71.75 will be the confirmed after that 25.69 will be the recovered then 2.55 percent death cases so here we will see this pie chart after that move to the middle top here we can see death by country and region so here china then italy then other countries we are having and for this i am going to use the covid 19 data set so this is the dummy data set if you want then you can drop your email ids on the comment box i will send this data set to you so here we can see these are the number of counts as per the country then bottom here we can see the death by country and region so here in this map you can see for the asia here it should be the china after that these are the total number of death across the globe and we can move this map and we can check the data after that go to on the right top you can see this table which is country wise recovered cases here in the bottom this is area chart on the monthly basis you can see the data like if we want to see for any particular day then we can check like 17th of Feb 2020 this is the total recovered cases in the bottom you can see the confirmed cases recovered cases and death cases once we click on the confirmed cases then the above table has been changed and now we have the country wise confirmed cases and here this is again changed and now we can see the confirmed cases by attribute that is our date now let me click on the death so here this has been changed and above table you can see the country wise death cases and in the bottom this area chart is again changed now we can see the data for the death and here you can see we are having this card by which we are going to display the data by switching like total cases then confirm cases after that we'll see the recover cases then total death so it will be going to change on every four seconds because we have already set on this after that you can see this bottom so here we'll see the country and how many cases before and how many number of cases has been increased so these are the confirmed cases the analysis is displaying on this so how we can design this dashboard by using the source data so we'll see right now first of all go to on the excel file and we'll see the source data so here you can see the country detail the first source file double click on that so here you can see the area then country and region after that state and other informations so this is for the first source now let me close this and go to on the confirm cases so let me open the confirm cases so this is the confirm cases like 
here we can see the state then country and region then date on that date what was the confirmed cases and what was the area so we have this data on the confirmed cases now let me open another file so this is for the recovered we have same number of column as we had in the confirmed now let me close this and see the last one that is the death so it should also have the same number of column with the data so here you can see the state country region then other informations as the same as we seen for the confirmed and recovered so these four files will be used to design our visualization so go to on the new power bi and we'll try to do that so before going forward first of all i would suggest just grab two visualization from the marketplace because those are not available right in your visualization so first that is our scroller so this scroller will help us on the bottom side as we seen so this is the scroller so in this you will see the country and region after that the total cases and how many counts has been increased so this is on the scroller and second we should need this rotating tile so what is this this is basically here like this is going to change on every 4 second like this will be rotating the measures and we can display the multiple values on this measure so before going forward just grab these two visualizations in your power bi desktop now let's start first of all go to on the home and go to on the transform data so here we need to get the data so go to on the new source and click on the excel because we have the data in excel file so here let me get the confirm cases first so click on open and we need to wait few seconds go to on the seat 1 and wait few seconds click on okay so here let me rename this as confirm cases so we can rename this confirm cases let me grab the second file so click on excel again this time country details click on open wait few seconds go to on the seat 1 after that click on okay now let me rename this as well call this as country after that go to on the another file and this time let me grab the death click on open go to on the seat 1 click on okay let me call this as death cases after that go to on the new source click on excel and let me get the recovered go to on the seat 1 and click on okay let me rename this as recover cases now we can click close and apply so it should be loaded in our power bi desktop so we need to wait few seconds it will be loaded soon now first of all go to on the relationship and in the relationship pane we can see we are having all these so as i have already selected the auto detect option so that's why it is creating the relationship like area and here again on the area again on the area so that looks good go to on the report now let's start with our report so first of all go to on the view and here go to on the themes and let me get the this theme so your page should be like this after that i need to grab a rectangle so go to on the insert and here go to on the rectangle and get this let me make it bigger and go to on the fill and here let me fill this with this color that looks good after that let me have a button that will display like total cases so go to on the button and 
let me have a blank button now let me make it bigger like this now go to the button text and here let me call this as total cases after that the font color let me put it as white and here the text that should be 35 I guess that look might be good now go to on the background color in the background color let me have this so this is like total cases that looks good after that go to on the shadow let me open the shadow so it is saying like black but I wanna have the white so it looks like this now we can set it according to a requirement like we can set little bit like this next we need to have the total cases a measure so that will have the total number of confirmed cases total number of recovered and total number of death cases so for that let me go on the country table and create all the measures inside the country table so click on the new measure and here we need to write the DAX formula to get the total number of cases so we need to wait few seconds formula bar has been opened so in the formula bar let me call this as total cases and it will have the sum of confirm cases plus sum of recovered cases plus sum of total death cases like this close the bracket and put the enter so it will create a new measure that will have the total cases so we need to wait few seconds here you can see total cases now let me grab a card and let me make it smaller let me put it here and little bit smaller like that now let me try to drag and drop these total cases in the field so here we can see the total number of cases it is showing 8 million now go to on the format go to on the data label here we want to see exact number so click on none so these are the total cases but here we need to do the formatting little bit so first of all I don't want to see the background color then in the font color I want a little bit yellow I guess so that looks good to me now go to on the category and instead of this black color I want to have the white color so now you can see this is the total cases next we want to have one more card that will have the total recovered cases so let me copy this and paste one more time let me have the confirm cases first so we can search confirm so this is the confirm cases so we can drag and drop in this so this is the confirm cases we can little bit adjust with this color and put it as white so this will have the confirm cases and you can also decrease the size of this so like it is 45 let me have this as 30 so we can save the space and for this let me have this as 40 so we can adjust little bit now let me copy this and paste one more time so we have done with the confirm cases next we have the total recover cases so let me have the recover so here in the recover cases we can see we should have the recovered so we can drag this and recover should be drop in the field so we need to wait few seconds here go to on the fields now let me try to drag and drop in the field so here you can see total recover cases go to on the format go to on the data level in the font color let me have the green like this after that the last one that is the total death cases 
so let me put it at bottom and after that go to on the search box and here let me search for death so this is the total death so we can drag and drop it here directly so this is the total death now go to on the format go to on the data level let me have this as a red like this so this is the total death now we can adjust little bit more on this so we can add one more visual below of this so we can set little bit up like that now let me have a pie chart now we can click on the pie chart make it little bit smaller and put it on the bottom of this now go to our existing one and here you can see confirmed cases recovered and total death cases the percentage of that so here go to on the confirmed cases first so let me search for confirmed cases so this is the confirmed one so we can drag and drop in the values after that we need to search for the total recovered cases so this is the recovered cases so we can drag and drop the recovered cases and the last one we need to search for the death so we can drag this death and drop in the values now we can see we are having the values along with the numbers but we don't want to see the number we want to see the category and the percentage only so go to on the details level in the details level let me have the category and percentage of total now we can see like 2.55 25.69 which we had before now go to on the data color and here for the death i want to see as red and for the confirmed cases i want to see this in white color in the recovered cases i want to see in green color now go to on the background color and off the background color so now it looks little bit good after that go to on the title let me have the title font color that should be white so it looks good and after that we can go on the legend and try to make the change on the color as white for the legend so it should be like this after that here the numbers as you can see not visible as of now so again we need to go on the detail level in the detail level this color this again should be white so that looks good now you can see this after that go to on the border of this and try to add the border so here this is the border let me on this and little bit radius so now this looks much more better so the first part that we have done like total cases total confirmed cases recovered death and this pie chart go to our existing one second we want to add the death by country and region so go to on the trending one and here let me add a clustered bar chart and here let me make it little bit smaller from the bottom like that and little bit bigger so here we want to see the total death by country so here we have already in the death cases table so area we can drag this area or this country region in the axis after that here we can see the death it should go on the values so now you can see this value like these are the country and regions and here the values that you are seeing so this looks good after that we need to have a map so let me click on the map so before going to use the map i am going to tell you your system should be connected with the internet otherwise this map will not work for you now go to on the existing one and here we can see death by country and region so now go to on the training one and here let me try to drag this death and drop in the size and in the country region it should go on the location now you can see these are the numbers and we can 
zoom it and we can zoom out as per our requirement after that we need to have three tables first table will be going to display the total confirmed cases second will have the recovered cases and third will have the death cases so let me have the table first so click on the table and little bit adjust on the right side and try to make it bigger and this as well now go to on the table in the table as i told you first let me have the death because we have already searched for the death so country and region should go in the values first then total death count should go in the values and this should be sum so we can check it has the sum so that looks good go to on the format and try to little bit format this so go to on the grid and try to increase the text size so this is like 14 and now put it on the right side like that now go to on the title and let me change the title of this as death count country wise and you can also change the background color of this as red and the font color of this as white now let me copy this table and paste on the same and let me put this above of this death now go to on the fields and this time we want to have the confirm cases so here in the country is a let me delete this and that it should be deleted go to on the country and reason let me try to drag and drop in the values and after that in the confirm let me try to drag and drop in the values so here it should have the value like that let me try to make it on the right side little bit and go to on the format go to on the title and here instead of the death it should be the confirm now go to on the background color this should be white and the font color that should be black i guess in this case so confirm count country wise let me try to have one more let me copy this and paste one more time so we have done for the death we have done for the confirm last one that we have for the recovered so go to on the field again and let me search for the recover this time now let me delete these two fields from here and here you can see the country and reason so you can drag and drop in the values first after that go to on the recovered and try to drag and drop the recovered right here now you can see the confirm count so this is not the confirm one so go to on the title and try to make the change on the title instead of the confirm this is the recovered now go to on the background color so this time it should be green and the font color that should be i guess white like that now let me try to make it little bit bigger on the right side of this map like that after that we need to have three more visualizations go to on the existing one so here you can see this area chart death by attribute once we click on the death if we go on the recovered then we'll see this uh, recovered by attribute if we click on the confirm so confirm by attribute so these three visualizations area chart we need to add 
on this so go to on the training one and here let me add the first area chart and try to configure that so for the recovered go to on the recovered cases table and here we have this date let me try to drag and drop this date on the axis first and after that go to on the recovered and try to drag and drop in the values so now we'll see like 2019 as you can see let me have this as date so now we'll see the area chart so this is for the recovered so i don't want to see blue color i want to see green color so go to on the data color of this in the recovered i want to see as green so this is like that so we have done for the recovered one let me try to copy and paste one more time above of this and little bit set for this now here you can see the recovered so this time i am going to have the confirmed one so let me search for the confirm so in the confirm we have the date let me try to drag and drop the date and this should have the exact date value not the date hierarchy and in the recover let me delete this and try to drag and drop this confirm in the values so we'll see the confirm by date i'm happy with the blue color i guess after that let me try to copy one more time and paste it here and this will display the count for the death so let me delete all these two and search for the death here let me try to drag and drop this date on the axis and instead of hierarchy i want to see the exact date so we can click on this here in the death you can drag and drop in the values now go to on the format of this go to on the data color let me make it as a red so we have done that after that we need to have three buttons to navigate between these three charts which we have created right now so before going forward let me have three buttons here so go to on the insert and go to on the button let me have a blank button first let me try to put it on the bottom right here and go to on the button text and here let me call this as confirm and we can increase the size little bit or we can put it on the bottom area or we can go to on the outline and here we can round the edge and we can little bit increase this text size so go to on the button text and here in the text size we can increase it little bit and here let me put it like that the one thing that we need to do we need to little bit adjust this area chart in the top side so we can little bit decrease the size of the table so this is the third table let me decrease the size of this now let me try to put it on the top side little bit this is for the death next will be for the confirmed and the last one for the recovered now we can put it on the below of this we can increase this and we can put it on the bottom little bit like that so here we need to adjust this that looks good after that you, we can increase the size of this
now we can put little bit on the left side and try to see either we have the same area or not for the depth we don't have so we need to put it on the top side now we can adjust it now this looks good so we have done with the confirmed one let me copy this and paste one more time and this will have the recovered so go to on the button text and here let me have the recover let me copy this paste one more time and this will have the depth and you can put the color as you want i'm going to leave it as it has now you can see confirmed recovered and death so now we have done with this the only thing that is remaining like if we click on this button we can decrease the size of this button little bit so like this like this like this so confirmed recovered and death so you can click on the confirmed so your figures will be changed according to the confirmed and we'll click on the recovered so figure will be changed according to the recovered then click on the death so it will be changed according to the death so before going to configure the bookmarks on these three let me have the scholar so we can click on the scholar and put it on the bottom side of this and let me try to make it smaller and here let me put it from here here you can see the category so in the category i want to see the country so go to on the country table and let country so where we can see all the countries so in the country you can see this country region so we can drag and drop in the category after that go to on the format first and here i don't want to see the title so we can off this title now go to here so here you have seen about the country region now here we need to create one measure that will see the difference in the number of increased from last 10 days or from last 20 days that we can do in the measure absolute we can display the confirmed cases directly and second we need to create so first let me have the confirmed cases here let me try to drag and drop in the absolute so here it is going to start the confirmed cases that you can see now we need to see like how many number of cases has been increased from last 10 days so that we need to do so go to on the insert and first of all let me remove this and go to on the country table because i want to create all the measures inside the country table let me select that now click on the new measure so here let me have the previous data and here let me for that let me calculate after that the sum of confirmed cases so here we should have the sum of confirmed case then put the comma after that date add then here we can have the confirmed table so confirmed cases date that should be minus 10 comma here we can have the day now we can close the bracket and put the enter so what it is going to do it is going to calculate the data what we have 10 days before so the total number of confirmed cases we'll see from this after that we need to have one more measure so go to on the new measure and click on that and where we want to subtract what number we have today and what number we had on 10 days before which we have calculated on the previous data so that will have the increased number so here let me call this as increased number and here just some of confirmed cases close the bracket subtract the previous data 
put the enter. So this will have the increased number and this increased number should go on the scholar on the major deviation. Now we can see like this is the increased number that you can see right here. So this is the scholar. The last thing that is remaining the rotating tile. Now let me click on the rotating tile. So we can click on the here and this little bit is smaller from the left side as well and put it on this. Here first we want to have the total cases so we can drag and drop the total cases. After that the confirmed cases so let me search for the confirmed cases. So we can drag this confirmed cases and drop it here. After that we would have the recovered cases. So let me search for the recovered cases. So here is the recovered cases. After that the last one that we have the death. So we can search for the death and try to drag and drop this death on this. After that go to on the format and go to on the label setting and in the label setting display unit that should be none. Now here we can set this as white or any another color which you want. So let me have this as black I guess. After that here we can see vertical flip so we can click on that so it will be going to switch vertically every time like this. So we have done this as well you can do the formatting so that is not a big deal. The last thing that is remaining on this go to on the view and add the bookmark. So click on the bookmark and click on the selection pen. In the bookmark let me add a bookmark first so that will have the confirmed. So let me call this as confirm second bookmark that we want recovered so let me rename this as recovered let me have the third one that will have the death let me rename this as death so first of all go to on the confirmed one in the confirmed one what we want to see and what we don't want to see. So here you can see the confirmed. So this is a recovered count country wise. So in the confirmed one we don't want to see that. So recovered by date, recovered count by country we don't want to see this. After that the confirmed we want to see the confirmed. In the death we don't want to see the death. After that you can see the death by date. So death by country reason we don't want to see this. This is this one so unhide that. Here death by date so that should be this one so we can hide that. After that confirmed we want to see recovered we don't want to see. So just click on this and try to update. So this will be update. Go to on the second. The recovered one. So in the recovered one we want to see the death by date we don't want to see. Confirmed we don't want to see. We want to see only recovered that is fine. Recovered count. Confirmed count we don't want to see this and death count we don't want to see that. Now go to on the recovered and try to update that. Go to on the last one that is the death. So in case of death here you can see death by date we want to see confirmed by date recovered by date we don't want to see recovered count country we don't want to see this as well so we can hide this after that you can see the confirmed count by country we don't want to see that only death that should be here click on this and update that now close this close this selection now 
let me click on the confirm and go to on the action on this type we want to move to the bookmark what bookmark we want the confirm go to on the recover go to on the action and this time go to on the bookmark and here recover go to on the death action go to on the type bookmark and here death now let me click on the confirmed one so here we can see the confirmed by date we can increase the little bit size so you can adjust according to your requirement now click on the recovered once we click on the recovered we can see recovered by date and recovered count now click on the death so you can see the death only death by date death count so i hope guys you have understand how you can create this beautiful visualization in your practice and if you need anything just drop a email or you can do the comment on this video so i will try to respond if you have any another questions or any another suggestion on this so you can drop the comment as well if you have any project that you want to share with us so you can directly contact with me thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much see you in the next video